Welcome to the Clever Mark. For today I have prepared a new golden ratio logo design that is drawn by direct use of the golden ratio circles. First, I'll show you how to create a golden ratio circles in just 30 seconds, then how to draw a logo from the circle, and how to get a black and white variant. Before we start, I want to invite you to visit our website. Link is in description. You can find our logos that we have drawn for YouTube tutorials. If you like some of our logo, you can choose it. Look at the details and add it to the basket. By purchasing logo, you get original vector files, transparent PNG and JPEG files. Payment is simply done, via PayPal. If you are interested in our service redesign logo or create a unique logo design, we have some offers for you. You can also find the logo that we have worked for our clients so far. Please feel free to contact us for more information. Let's get started. In this tutorial we use the Adobe Illustrator CC 2018 version. This logo is very easy to draw. We use only simple tools without pen tool. Some subscriber complained about using pen tools in our tutorials. This tutorial is for you who do not like pen tool. First we draw golden ratio circles. Select the ellipse tool. Draw a proper circle, hold alt and shift. Go to the right click, transform and click on the scale. In the window that opens you should type in the uniform field 61.8%. This means that the circle, that is 100%, reduced into 61.8%, in this way, we get a circle that is in a golden relationship with the first circle. Click on the copy. After that, press the Ctrl D on the keyboard and repeat the procedure. We repeat Ctrl D how many times we need it. We need 5 circles. That's it. We made circles in the golden ratio. Do not forget to become our subscriber, like video or ask us question in the comments section. Now we're drawing a logo. Select the largest circle, hold the Alt and reduce it vertically. Reduce it until you touch a second circle in size. Then select the ellipse, right click. Transform. Rotate. In the field, type 60 degrees. Then click copy. Reselect the first ellipse. Right click, transform. Rotate. In the field, right minus 60 degrees. Copy. Hold Alt and reduce new ellipse until the edges touch the smallest circle. The second ellipse, we increase until it touches the third largest circle. At this moment, we will have to make an exception. In order for this logo to go well, it is necessary that all three ellipses cross at the same point. For this reason, I will slightly reduce the third ellipse to achieve this. Now we're delete the circles and leaving the ellipse. I think you already see the logo. We need to merge points where the ellipses overlap. Select line segment tool. I pull a straight line from one point to another. Now we are moving to the next step. Select all the ellipses and the line. Choose the Shape Builder tool. Select the fields that we want to connect. Follow my moves. Now select everything and rotate for 180 degrees. We need to paint the logo in solid color. First, I'll switch from stroke to fill. Then I will paint with the eyedropper tool with the colors I prepared before. You can set any color, it's not bad to be different. You can see RGB color values in the right corner of my screen. If you want the same, stop video and copy.
Okay, I think I've managed to draw an identical logo like in the beginning. The only thing left to do is to transfer this logo into a black and white variant. Fill the logo in one solid color. Then go to the stroke and give some color. On weight, give 3 point stroke. Select in setting the align stroke to inside. Go to the main menu, object, click on expand appearance. Then go to pathfinders and click on trim. Then delete the stroke part. Do not forget to become our subscriber, like video or ask us question in the comments section.